Welcome! I'm Sandy, Canadian Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, and I am so glad you've joined me today because I have another sneak peek for you, or actually a few sneak peeks for you. Because I thought, why do one when you can do a bunch? Okay. Oh, one thing I do want to mention... while I get my make get my computer lined up with all this is that the catalog the brand new catalog that I cannot show you the inside of yet goes live on June the 3rd yay let me just straighten you out here just a bit there we go a little bit better oh how exciting I have to say we just turned the air conditioning on so I'm roasting how about you how are you handling the heat today? Assuming, I don't know, if you're in Canada anywhere, it's probably pretty warm. Maybe elsewhere too, I'm not even sure. I didn't want to look, quite frankly. Alrighty, how about we get started? So, hey Janice, welcome. Here we go. Alrighty, <laughs> my hands are sticky. <laughs> oh, how gross. Alrighty, so, this might surprise you. That might be upside down. <laughs> Today, we're making cards, and five of them, with the Flowers for Every Season Memories and More card pack. So I'm going to show you the cards. Hey, Lee. Welcome. Hey, everyone. Oh, hey, Marcy. It's a beautiful day, but I cannot handle the heat. I don't think we've had time to go from snow a couple weeks ago, I know it was only lasted one day, to blammo heat wave. All right, so anyway, as I mentioned, these are the Flowers for Every Season Memories More card pack. So there's 50 cards in total. There's a small size, which is 3x4, and the larger size, which is 4x6. And in case you're saying to yourself right now, but my cards aren't 4x6, don't you worry. Don't you worry. So you get two of each. So I will, I think we'll do the front, then the back. So that one's pretty. And I love the colors. And in case you're wondering, yes, these are... The new ink colors, which I will go over in a moment. Look at the sunflowers. Gorgeous. What? More sun. Oh, nice. Yep. If I had a pool, if I had a pool and someone to maintain it, wouldn't that be lovely? I would be in it. Not doing my video from there, though. <laughs> I love that one, too. And the, the beauty of this is when it says flowers for every season, they mean every season. So you've got pretty well from... You've got winter, spring, summer, and fall, all of them in the card pack. So now some of these you're only seeing one of because I am doing, uh, I'm, I have those set aside. This is kind of cool. These are stickers that you can use. So whether you're a card maker, a, you do, do scrapbooking, uh, journaling, or if you just like to leave special little notes, these are perfect. And new, new stampers especially. This is this is really great. Anyway, I don't want to peel any off, but these all peel off, including the little um, flowers and greenery. So you get two of those. And then these are cute because you can actually stamp in them, and then you can add to your cards. Now these are one-sided, obviously, because they're stickers. So let's do the back of the other cards. So like I said, for journaling, scrapbooking, or leaving special notes, pretty cool. That one's, I like that one. Love the colors. Winter Wishes. Yes, they make a very good fan as well, just so you know. Alrighty, that one and that one. I don't want to take too long because we've got an entire uh, for card that way. I'm like, what, what direction does that go? My brain's heated up. And this. And now the small cards. All right, so I've cut into these already. This is pretty cool. These aren't stickers. You just put them into your trimmer and cut and cut. So I've cut this one, obviously, because I'm using the other one, which would be like right there. So that's that makes it really easy for new stampers to, or again, if you're in a hurry, these are double-sided as well. So we'll do those separately. And you have your Christmas greetings. And this one, this reminds me of the notes, the note cards I would see at uh, at the cottage, um, at my grandmother's cottage. I, I just think it, that's absolutely stunning. So yes, we're making a card using that. We have poinsettias. 
and more Christmas greenery. Got these. So this actually matches with the um, Flowers for Every Season stamp set and punch, which we're going to do on Friday, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful. That's one of the new ink colors, too. And in just a moment, so we'll go through that. Now, you think that's gray? That's actually one of the new ink colors. Hey, that was Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary. Hey, Sonia. Welcome, welcome. I know I got looking at this and not my screen, so if I miss you, I apologize. I do. I apologize. Look at the flowers. So these are the kinds that you would just be able to, this might not match, but, you know, plunk a sentiment on and boom, you're done. Feeling festive, feeling like I need a fan. My fan's too loud or I would have it on. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to move this production downstairs uh, for the rest of the summer, at least. You inspire me. We're using one of those. Embrace today. You are my sunshine. And we have lots of that. Yes, using one of those. And so, all right, so let's get those out of the way. And I'll show you the coordinating. Okay, off to the side with you. Let me just think. Was there something I was keeping out of here? I don't think so. <laughs> just making sure. Oh, okay, the coordinating flowers for every season memories and more cards and envelopes and these are your new ink colors in case you haven't seen them and you may have because if you're like me you've been looking at I don't know why I bent that I can make I will make that bend back it has coordinating envelopes as well so first these guys this is cinnamon cider just jade magenta magenta madness Bumblebee, how can I forget that? I love that. And then the Misty Moonlight and uh, gorgeous. So what they did with these, er, 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 er. oh, you're welcome, Kathy, it arrived. See, maybe it, maybe we have a chance. I see, I, I mailed one to myself as well to see when they would start coming in. So yay, so these are in the catalog around page 154, 55, 56, somewhere in there. So. Not only are they pre-scored, but in case you were wondering how on earth am I going to center those, look at this. Ta-da! And again, scrapbooking as well. So those are those, but wait, the coordinating envelopes as well. All the colors and a pattern inside all of them. Hey, you're out of order. <laughs> and not only that, it goes right down inside. So if you were the ambitious type, you could open this up and use this panel in here for cards. A uh, yeah. You can also get these large, because this is a larger size, obviously, than our standard um, envelopes that we use. Um, they have these, we also have these in Whisper White. Let's get started. And I stacked everything on top of what we're doing. <laughs> Le, oops. Okay. So first things first, this is the uh, Misty Moonlight. And I'm just gonna show you, this is the most simple card. And then we're gonna work our way up because, well, isn't that pretty? Wow, I hate to do this, but I hate to cover up something pretty, but I am. So a little bit of Tombow, don't go too crazy. This is really liquidy because of the heat in here right now. Make sure it's going the right direction. Center it and use your wiggle time to get it in the right spot. Sometimes it works the first time. But we're not done because I have another sneak peek for you. Okay, so I've used a whole bunch of the blue, the blue, the misty moonlight and the cinnamon cider. So I had to bring out both of these so you could see that there's actually blue on here. So these are the new um, in color enamel dots. And why not, you know? So let's see, what should we use? I think I would like to use the bumblebee. Just a little bit. I don't want to go too nuts so crazy, you know, because the card, I think, speaks for itself. But seriously, how simple is that? I would love to know your thoughts on this. Did I get that? Yes, I did. I was worried I didn't get the, um, the adhesive on the back. Uh, one, two, and I think I'll go right there. A little triangle. The other thing you can do is remember those stickers is I could take one of these stickers. I think I'll choose this one here and 
I can put that on the inside of the card. I think I would maybe, I would probably like to put it here, kind of like down by your signature. Simple, very, very simple. I don't know if our letter carrier has been by, I think Rosemary might be able to tell us. Card number one, done. Okay, card number two, and we're using cinnamon cider. I love this color. All right, and then the one that I said, this is the, um, the little memories of more card that I said remind me of my grandmother, which is why I had to use it. And the little sentiment that I have cut out using my trimmer. I suppose you could, I'm, I'm pretty sure I should say, I suppose you can use your, um, you can fussy cut if you want. I just, I'm not known for straight cutting, thus, you know. Oh, we don't know yet. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna just change it up a bit. So if you were to say, I think this is a wonderful gift, by the way, that you might wanna give someone that you're like, hey, I know you like what I do, but you're kinda of scared of all this. Make sure you get them some Tombow and some dimensionals as well. And the little adhesive dots, if you're feeling that would be good as well, because they're very easy to use. That, of course, is your take your pick tool that I used. Not really necessary. I feel like, I feel like it goes this direction. Okay, and you know me, I have to hold it up to see if I've got it straight, reasonably straight. There we go. I want to pop this up as well because that's just me. Now, is it, you know what? Let's grab the small right back here. I'm gonna use the mini dimensionals. I only have this little bit hanging over the edge, so dimensional there. And the rest I'm gonna glue. Mm -hmm. Nothing about does me. Okay, maybe he's just, it's hot and he's taking his time today with the mail. Thanks, Rosemary, for checking. Oh, man. As your catalogs come in, you'll be like, show me this, show me this. As a demonstrator, we were allowed to order from a pre-order, so I, I couldn't get everything, and that's normal. It's it's just too much, way too much for our, the uh, for the Stampin' Up! Uh, uh, warehouse to have everything. How simple is that, and how pretty is that? You know? Okay, next. All right, so this is the Just Jade. It's a really beautiful color. I believe you actually saw this color on one of my cards last week. And this right here. However, sneak peek. However, I decided, because this actually goes with the suite, to bring out the Flowers for Every Season combo pack. Now, this I haven't opened yet, but check this out. I don't know about you, but I, I love gingham because it's fresh and bright and pretty. So there's a possibility. I'm just gonna run it across, make a little um, knot. And then we have, it's like whisper white. It's kind of like linen. It has a linen look to it. I don't, it's not linen, but you know, it's got that look. I was thinking about that as well. I don't wanna cover up too much of what's there, but at least with the, the white, you can see through the card. Now this one doesn't match at all. Uh, not with what I'm doing right now, but it is, I believe we've got three different colors in here. I know there's a spot where you can open this really easily, but hey, who am I to follow those rules, you know? Oops, I'm just going to do this off camera for a moment. The other ones I was able to get my scissors in, so I just figured this would be better with my, oh, I'll just show you what I'm doing. Okay, so this will be the Moonlight, oh, I I see I'm trying to avoid picking up a thread. Here we go, I can show you this way. Okay, so in here is the Moonlight Madness, um, Whisper White or White, and a silver thread. I hope, let's put something under it, see if you can kind of see that. And my uneven desk here, roly-poly. It's just a matter of then deciding. So it's not this one, because, I mean, I like color, but that's different. <laughs> I hadn't really considered this, but hmm, I kind of like it. Let's take a look. But my, oh, my hands are like, oh, come on, air conditioning, do your thing. I feel like I need more color. My original thought was this, by the way, and then, of course, you're on a video and you can change your mind anytime you want. 
Now, the gingham. I agree. I agree with you, Lee. Now, we're going to do two things. One, I'm going to cut the piece. I find it easier to do it this way. Cut the piece that so will just go from side to side. And then we'll do a little knot. Oh, I'm glad I got my glue dots out. This was not the plan today. So, I know I haven't shown you much of the colors. I mean, you've seen them briefly, but those who have catalogs already, do you have a favorite color of the New Ink colors? Would it be all of them? <laughs> that would kind of be mine. Would it be all of them? Or the Just Jade? Would it be the Cinnamon Cider? The Moonlight Madness? The Magenta? No, Moonlight. Misty Moonlight. Don't mix the names up. <laughs> And the, uh, which one did I miss? Bumblebee. There it is. I'm looking, where did I put that little, there we go. And then a little knot over here. So, as mentioned, to save ribbon, one, don't you don't have to go around the entire card. And two, don't take it off the roll before you've cut it. Okay, so we had two votes for gingham. There we go. Misty Moonlight. Yeah, the blue is, I think, yeah. I, I'm, it's I, it's a toss-up for me as I do different cards. It's like, well, I kind of like, wait, I like that. Wait, I like that. I didn't think I would like the cinnamon cider so much, but that I do like because it's, it's not really super dark and it pretty well goes with everything. So there's our little bow. And then we can adhere. And this one I am going to glue down. You love them all excellently. Awesome. Bumblebee? Well, when you see the next thing that goes with Bumblebee, you'll be like, oh boy, Sandy, you're costing me too much money. <laughs> we can't purchase, you can't make any purchases again unless you're a demonstrator or you sign up as a demonstrator until June the 3rd. So you have some time to go through and Mark up all your pages. I'm kind of not liking doing that part, you know, the, what I usually do because my hands are sticky. Okay, there we go. So that's the gingham and just a little bow. So we didn't use a lot. If you want this part, this is pretty tight, but if you wanted it to stay put better, you would just put a little glue dot right under there. Okay, next. Okay. This is Magenta Madness. It's bright. It is bright. Do I have? I do. This, the side here, is Melon Mambo, which I love. Like, I've always loved Melon Mambo. And you can see the difference in color. So, it's bright. All right, so for this, I decided, first I had this on here, and I went, I'll just put a sentiment on. And then I went, why don't we put two of these on? Like, anything stopping us? Uh-uh. Nothing's stopping us. Because we can do what we want. This is what I, this is for this one? No, it's the next one. Never mind. Next one. This is what stop. So I know we have scrapbookers and card makers and scrapbooking card makers. I'm not sure if we have any people that do journaling on today, but uh, it's all pretty simple. I am definitely moving this down stairs. I have a weekly update with my, uh, team tonight on Facebook. I am so, so taking all this downstairs. When I say all this, I mean my, my lights. One's attached to the desk, like it's got a clamp. So it's kind of like, oh man, where am I going to clamp it? But I will figure something out downstairs because there's definitely the space. <laughs> you know? Oh. There we go. And go. And go. And Oh, we almost were on, a, we're on a roll here. Oh, there we go. Got it. Okay. And keeping it simple. Mm, you know me, off center. Maybe above center. I don't do that too often. Yep. And then if we wanted to, let's see. Ooh, we should put some of these these uh, magenta, magenta madness on. I know that. Did you see that? That's kind of weird. I had to turn them around. They all have to start from the same side. Yep, call me weird. I don't care. <laughs> it's perfectly okay. We all have our little idiosyncrasies. You have to show off that color. You know, at first, now this is kind of funny. I'm like, that's bright. 
I like bright colors. What am I saying? Ta-da! You could even do more. This Actually, why don't I? I think five, because it's a large card. And I'm still keeping with the triangles. So there's a triangle, there's a triangle, so I'll go this direction. And make one over here as well. Always wonky triangles. We're all weird. I agree. And if we're not boring <laughs> already. So the last one, honestly, it's my favorite. Okay, and it's on Bumblebee. So here's the bottom, and here's what I was going to put on top. And I love that. Then I got thinking, and you might have seen a little sneak peek of this. I, I showed this in my video, one of them, last week. Um, so this is, did I write it down? Oh, it did, forever gold laser cut specialty paper and I just thought how fun is this how fun is this you can see it you can even see it better when we angle it so I'll show you what I'm thinking I'll, I will I will show you what I'm thinking yep and zoom zoom around the edges ta-da and ta-da bumblebee hmm I wonder do I have any yellow handy just uh I don't think I do. I, I kind of, I cleaned up. I know, shocking. Don't think I do. Sometimes I have a little scrap here and there. Wait, I do. Liar. Uh, it's kind of the wrong. Okay. Well, it's got other things on it. So this was from the Bird Ballad DSP. This will be the um, Daffodil Delight. So you can see the difference in color. It's not the best because this isn't a, like a straight color, but you can see the difference there. Now, we weren't able to get the inks yet for the new ink colors. They should be available once the catalog goes live. Stampin' Up! is stocking up, so there's lots for everybody. I will, by the way, be placing an order on June the 3rd. Definitely. All right. Now, I know this covers up a fair bit of them, and I thought, cut it in half, cut it in a strip. Nope. Not doing it. I decided to just leave it as is and then that'll sit kind of like that so this time and you can use whatever adhesive you have this is fast fuse which is no longer available but I'm just going to put a couple of little pieces here that's all it really needs to hold it in place and I did try it this way but the funny thing about our eyes is that we read from left to right so I found it more appealing to go this direction that's my tip for today by the way I know it's no fun if I don't give you a tip of some sort. And then this, but wait, here's the should I. This is the gingham ribbon that is in Bumblebee. Now it's thinner by the looks of it. I can't have already misplaced the green. Oh wait, because it's over here. It is thinner than the green. So the green doesn't say, and I didn't write it down, but this one will be on here. It's not on here. Looks to be a quarter of an inch. <laughs> there. That's what my eyes think. So what do you think of that? Like, look at gingham, gingham everywhere. Love. Remember that gingham paper we had at one time? Holy schmoly. Was that not like the best? Now this is small, so I am... When it's small, it's a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is just make the knot. And I tried bows and I went, yeah, a little bit more than I wanted. Actually, you know what? I never get it quite straight that way. So glue dots. Glue dots. These really are simple cards. There's, I don't know about you, but this was me yesterday going, what am I going to do? Like, you know, I'm cranky. It's hot. Should have turned the air conditioning on yesterday. But I'm like, it's May. You're being a wimp. <laughs> I don't think I'm a wimp anymore. I don't. Okay. Right in front of me. That's what I was looking for, my glue dots. No, I'm not embarrassed. I think we all lose things that are like right in front of us. Let's see if that's where I want that. I think it is. And at the bottom again. I know it's like the other card, but hey. There's something about simplicity that appeals to me especially when it's uh oh hot and you use some of that gingham paper today i know i may have an extra pack of that i'm not exactly sure but i'm pretty sure i i love it and i'm you know i'm gonna keep it for cards okay is that straight 
I think it is. All right. And then this little, it's just a little touch you can add. So you can do these absolutely plain and straight. That was, that's what I showed you with the first card. And because so many of us are card makers, just going to scooch that over a bit to make a nice small end so I don't have to cut too much off. I can still move that, which is kind of nice. And then pinch it tighter. Um, card makers, like, it, it works for us too. Like, the, like the heavy duty, duty avid card makers, we like this because it's a wee bit of a challenge. And then I can show you something that's simple, but you can glam up. I love that. Whee. Before the video start, I have to tell you this. Remember this? I use this every once in a while. It's just a little bottle with water in it that I use. I clean my desk. I spritz when I'm doing pigment sprinkles or watercoloring. I'm sitting here actually spraying myself with it. Going, oh, it's kind of like being in a, a not, not a pool. It's kind of like being in a little spray cooling area. And it's kind of gross to talk about how hot, hot heat hot you are. But hey, keeping it real. Keeping it real, my friends. Oh, wait, just one second. I noticed the corner's a little... There we go. And then on we go. I think I like it there. It doesn't have to be all even where this is the same amount here and here. I think it, it offers more interest to your eyes if you do it a different way. Now, I think this time I'm going to go with the Cinnamon Cider just because, and you inspire me. So yeah, like I was saying, when I saw this, I'm like, I'm like, eh, I, you know, I don't, I don't really do memories and more cards. But when I started looking at the papers and went, you know, things that remind us of things like, in my case, my grandmother, I've been thinking about her a lot because she had a cottage up at Wasaga Beach, and uh, I'm going to bring in the cards, and um, she'd be sitting out under one of the, the shade of the tree, and you could see the, um, I'm going to cut that more, see the all the lily of the valley, which I also love, and um, this just reminds me of my grandmother, so, you know, you two grumpy men in the house, go outside, Rosemary, where it's safe, away from grumpy men. Alrighty, so there's two of them. And then back where we started at the beginning with very simple, with a little pretty on the inside, so lots of space to write a note. And then a little bit of ribbon, popped it up a little bit. I suppose we could put the dots on there too. Hmm, might do that because I... I have to photograph these still. Lazy bones here. Well, I wanted to show you the pieces. What color would I use here? Now, see, this time I think I go the opposite and do the yellow because I've got the cinnamon cider. So, oh, there we go. You have your headphones. You have your headphones on and you're ignoring them. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Oh yeah, we were going for the, we were going for bumblebee this time. Oh, oh, did I? If you happen to take the backing off by accident, and by the way, I did. That's what it looks like. Oh, I got one stuck to my fingers. Oh, I have the top stuck to it. So yeah, I just took that off. I'm keeping those because I'll show you on Friday why. I'm not going to try and glue them back on because that's a pain. I think I should, hopefully, if I do it the right way. Oh, that's off. No. No, no, no. Here, move. Yeah, I don't waste them very simple you know I and I think again that's the heat telling me oh my gosh I think it's the heat making them come apart that's no fun it's like I'm not giving up I think I'm gonna use my fingernails and see if that doesn't yeah I think I think my I was being a little aggressive with the uh, take your pick tool <laughs> one two and I think we'll stay up here there we go there we go my friends there are your Phew, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Ah. Forever, for, flowers for every season, memories and more, card pack, cards, 
and coordinating envelopes. So like, how pretty is that going to look? Dun, da, 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 da. I should do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you like that. Um, do check my blog later. I, later, I will have um, I will have photos, stills that you can see, and I'll talk about them a bit more. And the, I need this one. Oh, here we go. There's that color again. Misty moonlight. Um, please do me a huge, huge favor. I appreciate it if you would share my video. Um, watching on YouTube subscribe as well that helps um, I'll put the link to shop up in the comments when you go to my blog I'll, I know the um, the link is there now but um, a little pop-up will come up saying newsletter sign up feel free to join my newsletter I will have one going out hopefully in the next few days uh, appreciate your comments and such normally I, I okay I'm gonna say stay crafty <laughs> stay safe stay cool all right, I will see you Friday at 2 p.m. Already, bye-bye.